Don't you forget it, when he said. Because even if you weigh 50 pounds, you'll still be a smelly whale. And now I'm going to end it there. And I see a lot of people going, mm, oh, God, that's so sad. It is sad, and it's not okay. But this, in all reality, is something that is still happening every single day. In middle school, in high school, in college, in the tabloids, on the news. 
There are literally people who criticize Hillary Clinton for having cankles. An incredibly powerful woman politician who is doing incredible things for the world, no matter your political views, and people criticize her for having cankles. And that starts in middle school. That starts in elementary school, and that starts with people being called blubber. And I understand that this is all of us here talking and celebrating books. And yes, it's wonderful to celebrate books, and I'm happy that we're here. But it also should be something bigger. This should be a call to action. And this should be us talking about books and talking about why these books are banned. But furthermore, envisioning a society in which we don't have to ban these books, but we can rather learn from them. And we can envision a society in which we're learning from books like this, and talking about things like this happening in our schools, and not focusing on things like blurred lines, um, and not focusing on the weight, or the looks, or the suit of really powerful women in this nation. Um, and again, not to say that it only happens to women. So with that, this is your call to action to start talking about and uplifting people using literature. Thank <laughs> you.